Dana Crawford joins me now, ASHG's Chief of Diversity and Inclusion Task Force. Why is it important that we focus on diversity and inclusion in genetics and genomics specifically? Diversity is key, not just to ASHG's mission, but really key to excellence in research and education worldwide. So currently, our biomedical diversity workforce is not that diverse. Um, just as an example to illustrate this, in the U.S. Census, uh, the latest statistics, approximately 13% of respondents self-identified as African-American or Black, approximately 18% self-identified as Hispanic. But when we look at our science faculty and academics, say at schools of medicine, the basic sciences, we see that approximately 6.8% might self-identify as uh, a member of an underrepresented group. Um, an even more extreme example would be for women as faculty members in academics. Of course, women make up about a half of the world's population, but only 35% of the faculty at schools of medicine and basic sciences. So clearly, we don't have the diversity in academics as represented in our populations. And that's a problem because social science data shows that as we bring more diverse individuals into groups working on problems, more creative solutions are achieved. So really, we argue that the best science that we need is bringing together, bringing together people from diverse backgrounds. What is the ASHG doing to help diversity and inclusion within the society? I think ASHG is doing a lot, whether its membership realizes it or not. So I'm here speaking with you today because I'm chair of the new Diversity and Inclusion Task Force. ASHG initiated the task force with the last meeting in Houston in 2019, and we began work in 2020. We have a two-year order from the board to initiate the task force and accomplish certain goals. First and foremost, the board wanted task force members to be embedded within each of the ASHG committees, and we wanted to report back to the board that we can actually achieve in the next two years, as well as longer terms to achieve diversity, both in the workforce, but also in education and policy. And so what are some of the specific things that we've done as a task force? Um, we've only been together for less than a year now, and already we've uh, published a diversity inclusion policy for ASHG. So you might have caught that. That was published earlier in January of 2020. Um, and if you haven't caught it, you should go back to the ASHG website. We have our policy published there. Uh, we have other activities uh, to engage membership. So we have established reduced rates from members who are coming from developing countries. We also have year-round programming that addresses many issues related to diversity and inclusion. These could be uh, webinars on implicit bias, or webinars on uh, career development, such as mentoring or being mentored. Um, we have specific programs related to supporting early career scientists that we're very proud of. Um, this is the Human Genomics or Genetic Scholars Initiative. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that it's not just mem uh, limited to members of ASHG or ASHG attendees. We are trying to also engage uh, students earlier in their career process. So ASHG is now exhibiting, along with the American College of Medical Genetics and the National Society of Genetics Counselors, we're exhibiting together as a group to engage undergraduate students uh, in early in their career process to begin thinking about careers in genetics and uh, genomics uh, in research. Um, so this represents the first time that ASHG really has uh, begun outreach efforts earlier in the career process to engage more diverse groups to begin thinking about careers in science. And what are some resources members can use to ensure they're approaching diversity and inclusion the right way? If you're a member or a non-member of ASHG and you're wondering where I can find resources and where I can access these resources, I have a couple suggestions. First and foremost, um, whether you're a member or not, you can go to the ASHG website and look at some of the diversity and inclusion activities that we have initiated and are ongoing. So for example, if you're a postdoc and you're interested in applying for the Human Genetic Scholars Initiative, please visit the website for deadlines and instructions on how to apply. Or if you're interested in some mentoring tips or how um, you should engage with your mentor, we certainly have year-long programming at ASHG regularly posted on the website and emails for the membership that announce webinars that address some of these issues. 
Um, I would also like to encourage you at your individual institutions to encourage um, all of you, including department chairs or other leadership that um, uh, would be engaged in hiring faculty to attend our receptions in diversity, as well as the ACHG diversity breakfast uh, for more engagement about equity and uh, inclusion and diversity in hiring practices. Thanks again for watching, and if you'd like to watch more clips like this, go ahead and click on some of the links to my side for more exciting content from this year's ASHG virtual meeting.